Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Cranium Hoopla. This is set to be by Funko Games, and is designed by Wit Alexander and Richard Tate. Beat the clock in this hilarious pop culture party game. Get your friends to guess the who, what, or where on your cards. Sound easy? How you do it is the real hoopla. With eight outrageous activities, everyone has a chance to shine. But hurry, you need to get through your cards as, as a team before time runs out. Let me show you how to play. So in Hoopla, you are working together to guess all the cards in your hands and the goal pile before time runs out. Everyone is on the same team. Uh, each player will start, depending on the player count, with three or four cards in hand. And you also have a pile of goal cards here. So when it's your turn, you take this die, you roll it. And then whatever the symbol is and the color, that will tell you what activity you have to do. Since it's the green uh, person, you have to do sound stage. I'll go into these activities in a section uh, in a second. And if you look at the cards here, we got Avatar, Cabbage, Fire Nation, Real Estate Agent, Picket Fence, Suburb, Substitute Teacher, Chalkboard, and Classroom. You have to pick one of these cards and you have to get your teammates to guess it. Uh, in this case, it'd have to be one of the people, Avatar, Real Estate Agent, or Substitute Teacher. Uh, and then you do the activity. Uh, we'll get into those in for a second. Uh, there are wild tokens, three of them. You can use these to uh, change the die roll to something else if you don't want to do that activity or that category. Um, and you have a 15 minute timer. Uh, there's an app you can download or you can just use a phone app. Um, but basically whenever someone guesses uh, it correctly, you pause the timer, put it down face up and draw a new card. So here's Wonder Woman, Lasso, Temple. So, uh, if nobody is getting it, you can also uh, trade the card for a new one. You pause the timer, uh, tell them the answer, and you return the card to the box. And then you and another player have to both draw a card as a penalty. If you can get through all 24 cards before time runs out, uh, then you win. Now, let's go through the activities. Each activity has a standard version and a, an advanced version. So, Cludel. Grab the marker and draw clues to the answer on the whiteboard. You must remain silent and you can't use letters, numbers, or gestures. So it comes with a small marker board. And yeah, you can just draw on there. Um, likewise, craft clues by completing the following sentence, but don't say any of the words on your card. Like blank, but blank. Uh, for example, they say if the answer is Zeus, like Athena, but fatherly. Uh, Countalope. Uh, get players to guess the answer by providing a one-word clue, a two-word clue, a three-word clue, and so on. However, you can't say any of the words on your card. So if it was Haunted House, you'd be like, Ghosts, Jump Scare, Take a Tour. Uh, sound Stage, this is just classic charades. Get up and act out clues to the answer using gestures and sound effects. Make sure you don't say any words. Now, the advanced versions of all these, Cludles is Nano Sketch. In this case, uh, you take the whiteboard and you draw small because you only share one whiteboard for the entire game. You can't erase anything. Uh, so uh, you have to uh, be conservative with your spacing. Tweener, uh, this is a format of it's bigger than blank, but smaller than blank. So if the answer is car wash, you'd be like, it's bigger than a sponge, but smaller than a parking garage. Countalope is uh, the advanced version is tongue-tied. Uh, you have to pick a letter, uh, and all your clues have to be the same letter. So if the answer was ice cream, you can be like, uh, sweet, semi-solid, scoop, etc. And finally, the advanced activity uh, for here is Rexpression. It's the same thing, but instead your elbows are glued to your side. You can't say any words, but you can growl and roar. And that's it. Just do the activities. You can pick and choose which four you want to do, get people to guess your uh, clues, and that's the game. So I do enjoy these kinds of team-based party games. Um, this one has some stuff in it that doesn't really work for me, but overall I had a decent time. Uh, I appreciate that each activity offers a standard versus an advanced version, because quite frankly, some are more fun than others. Any form of charades, whether you're a T-Rex or not, will always be fun. Do I think the T-Rex version is necessary? No, but, you know, it's a fun, silly, you know, challenge. Countalope is way too simple. It's just, you can literally say whatever you want, basically. Uh, just in one word, two word, it's too easy. While tongue-tied is interesting in theory, but in practice is just kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know, for some reason that one just did not really work 
uh, having to pick a letter and just going with that, it just is more cumbersome than entertaining for me. Tweener, not very fun. It feels way too restrictive, and it's like, oh, all I can say is bigger than, less than, and you're just limited to thinking of things by size, which is kind of stupid. Uh, I don't really understand why. Uh, likewise works better. It has more comedic potential anyway. Uh, I did like that more, um, like this, but this format. It's a bit simple, but again, much better than Tweener. And then for drawing stuff, I always like drawing games anyway, so Nano Sketch, I, the idea of it is fun, but the chances are the game won't last long enough that you actually need to draw that small. Especially if you roll, like, like, in a certain way. And speaking of rolling a die, you know, determining your categories and activities with a die is kind of a detriment because sometimes you just end up re-rolling the same stuff over and over again. I feel like instead, and you could obviously house rule this, just having a set number of each activity would be more fun. Of like, okay, we got to do six of the six red activities, six green, and so on. Because um, I mean, you could you know roll for the category or fuck it, you could just like have both be decided at the top. I don't know. For me. The whole die thing didn't really work. Sometimes it was just like, I don't want to do Countalope again. Also, huge pet peeve of mine, this is just a personal thing, because I get that this is what the game is going for, but the whole, like, pop culture references, that never works for me. Because oftentimes I'm like, how, rel how, like, how current is this? Oh my god, okay, Stranger Things is in this? Okay, like, guessing games like this, I always prefer when the answers are timeless, like, teacher right that's something that you'll always be able to do but if it's something like avatar pikachu game of thrones first off if you don't have any knowledge of these franchises it's just hard uh almost impossible um and also it's just eventually gonna get outdated uh if i want to do some kind of like movie or video game or sort of some sort of guessing game like that I would much rather play a game that focuses on that genre. Like, I want to play a game that's, okay, you like movies? Here's a movie-based game. You like video games? Here's a video-based, or video game-based game. I don't want a mixture of, like, oh, like, the answer could be, like, Chair, or it could be Eleven from Stranger Things. It just, having both of those possibilities feels so, like, just, it's, it's like, there's just discord there for me of, like, Shit, is it a generic thing? Is it a st stupid pop culture thing? They just feel like separate game experiences to me. So overall, while I had decent fun with this, I don't think it's particularly remarkable. Kind of a mixed bag in terms of the quality of its activities, and I don't like the pop culture references. If you don't mind the pop culture stuff, uh, and if you thought the activities were more suited for you, you know, I think you'll have fun with it. I had a good time. But I don't know if I'd go out of my way to pick it up on my own. On my own. Like, I think it's fine. I, I had a decent time.